All right, Cancer. Baby, tell me what the answer is. It is me, bruh. It is she, -ra. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for the remix. Coming in for May to see what God got to say for May 2020. Ah, oh, show me the money energy for my Cancers. Yes, God. Shout out to all my water signs that be so divine and so fine. Splash. Okay, y'all be giving them that good splash. They be coming back for more. You be like, hold on, splash. Hold on, we got a splash about it. Girl, splash. Come on, Cancer. Splash. Yes, God. Y'all give them all that good energy. Listen, I want to say a good shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my babies that has clicked this video that has liked, shared, subscribed to show any type of support to my page during any time, alright? I want to give a big shout out to everyone that's been sending love and support to the page uh, when these videos resonate. You can always support number one by clicking the like button. Number two, you can... Um, Donate or show love to the page uh, by the Amazon wish list, by the PayPal, by the Cash app. And you guys have been sending a lot of support and love. And we actually have a brand new deck that's going to be hitting this table. I believe it's going to arrive on the full moon in Scorpio round, honey. Come on now, round. That's your water sign counterpart round. Okay, girl. All right. On Miss May the 7th, girl. Yes, it's going to be coming here on May the 7th. So shout out to all my babies that has been sending all of that love through the Amazon wish list. Y'all have been making it. Uh, an amazing experience um because all of these decks tell different stories and stuff like that so i thank you so much for your love of um support that you show to the table and you show to um my page if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading and shout out to all my babies that's been booking personal private readings and stuff like that because y'all are absolutely amazing oh my goodness and i'm loving the connect um the connections that i've been making if anyone wants to connect with me you can Hit me on Instagram, um, click that about tab on my YouTube page, it tells you my pricing list, it gives you the link to support the page, it gives you the link to um, get um, to get up with me on Instagram so that you can send me a message and let me know that you want to book. Um, most importantly, when you guys send me a message, please make sure that you do not tell me what's going on in your situation, okay? So please just make sure that you don't divulge all that. I, I would like to keep my authenticity in my readings and stuff like that so I can't um read effectively if you guys are already telling me everything that's going on you know what I'm saying sometimes you gotta let God speak you know that way it's going to teach you guys to trust your intuition so thank you to all my babies that have been booking and we've been working on learning because every time that y'all book with me y'all already be knowing the truth that's why I tell y'all don't tell me a damn thing because if you haven't told me anything about what's going on all you did was ask a simple question and I'm able to tell you your whole life and you ain't tell me a damn thing and I'm telling you what you thought was going on and I'm picking up on all of that so that's going to teach you to trust your intuition and that's exactly what we're going to work on because all of us have that divine principle within each other within ourselves you understand in order to, to attract someone on your wavelength you got to find that jewel within yourself and you got to learn how to trust your intuition and things like that so when God said it's time to go it's time to go y'all already know how it is when cancers be want to wall someone out to, to, to go on your shell on a nigga you know what i'm saying so we gonna have to learn how to trust our intuitions and i'm sorry i'm running my mouth we still need to begin to the reading okay listen <laughs> so again if there's anyone that wants to um book with me go ahead and click that about tab and thank you to everyone who has been booking and showing love and support and i can't wait to get that deck on um the scorpio full moon um let's give god praise let's give him thanks of course let's give him honor with everything that he's been gifting us with uh, a lot of you guys have been blessed and prayed up during this time y'all ain't been worrying about too much I've been cooking good meals taking care of your family doing what y'all do shout out to all my water signs and my cancers yet again so let's give God thanks during this time so father God thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer of course we're here trying to seek the answers father God uh, always trying to just keep our emotions balanced so that we can keep going and you know on our path to our glory because they don't know our story father God people don't be understanding what we go through and why we are the way we are why we got to be so strong like that you know sometimes we want to be loud sometimes we want to be quiet you know and we've been working on that discernment to kind of pick the day and the time the the people places and things to show ourselves to because not everybody is worthy of 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 our <laughs> of, of who we are 
you know so everybody is not is not ready for that um and that's what we've been learning throughout these phases that's why we've been allowed to sit alone to be with our family to really get down to the principles as if we're really happy if we're not we want to be happy and we're going to get happy you know what i'm saying so um shout out and i want to say i'm praying over everybody that is in any type of relationship where they've just been settling because the Rona is making them relationships a goner. <laughs> the Rona is making a relationship. Y'all like, oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> so I just want to give a shout out to everybody that the Rona has made them finally like straighten up some things and look at something. That really just wasn't worth it. Like I said, 2020 showed me the money. So anything that's just not worth your time and your investment and your energy. Because one thing you can never get back is your time, your investment, and your energy that you put into something. Because even when people turn around and you say, well, I did this to you. Ain't nobody told you to do that. So you, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So we're learning not to do that anymore. You know, and stop settling and put our place in the, put ourselves in a place where we can really thrive. You know, especially around our positive family and friends you know and colleagues so father continue to keep pushing us continue to keep helping us make our way and we're here to hear what you got to say of course this is cancer we're here to seek the answers father god give us guidance for the cancers for may 2020 this is show me the money energy this is show me the money season all year father god so we're going to continue to keep our head our head held hot in that purpose because everyone that comes in our space got to show us that they're worth it they got to show us the money you understand so you know everything ain't free and our energy damn sure ain't free so you gonna have to pay your way around here so father god give us guidance thank you for today and every day amen let's get into this I don't know why I'm real preachy today, Karen. So listen, I'm just going to have to apologize a bit. I don't know why y'all just got me in this energy where I want to talk today. <laughs> okay? Hold on, can I say that in my New York accent? I want to talk. Okay? Don't them New York girls, they be having that little sexy ass New York. I want to talk. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. What my New York, uh, uh, hold on. Who am I going to be? Why I want to say Britney? I ain't no type of Britney. That's not Britney. Can't see me being no Britney, but I'll be Britney for right now. Yeah, my name is Britney. I want to talk to you. What's going on? I want to talk. Let's talk. So today we going to talk because y'all want to talk. <laughs> Let's talk. Okay, I keep trying to blow like this this candle and it just keep going out. So y'all throwing shit on my table. What is going on with y'all? And y'all got about four or five cards. What y'all hold on? Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so y'all always, y'all always be coming here. Uh, look, you want to be starting something. You got to be starting something. Too high to get over. Eh, eh, too low to get under. Eh, eh, it's stuck in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Hold up. Uh, too high to get over. Uh, too low to get under. Uh, stuck in the middle. Ooh, come on. Hold on. Kids are in here already trying to go off on the shit. They said the signs, they blowing out candles. They throwing shit on the table. Listen, they want more than what the hell. Now, you know it's just supposed to be one car. Y'all coming in here with five. Listen, they say, listen, my will is my way. I don't give a damn what you say, Rez. I want it. And you know, every time we do cancer, you're going to do a little bit more than what you expected. So get used to it, okay? All right? All right? It's our will, it's our way. Listen, I want what I want. And I ain't going to do what I don't, okay? All right, listen, and then you got that number 13. That's the death card. You understand in the in, in tarot. All right, that is changes coming through. Hold on, y'all end it. Listen, I told you y'all I'm burnt. Y'all I'm blew that damn candle out. Change. Oh my gracious. <laughs> really? <laughs> Baby, this is the thunder moon. And it is. Do y'all hear the rain outside? Y'all hear it? It is raining outside. Mmm. So how to get... Ooh, extremes. Ooh, what is going on, Cancer? Tell me the answer. Purity. Listen, come on now. You said I'm walking through the fire. <laughs> Cancer said, we, listen, my will is my way right now. Scorpion, I don't care what you got to say. I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk. I'm here to talk. You want to talk? Let's talk. Let's talk, girl. Okay? 
Listen, this gonna be an extreme ass goddamn reading right here today. I can already tell that shit. Cause Cancer said, listen, it's gonna be some reckoning, some straightening going on up around this motherfucker. Cause listen, I'm tired. I'm tired. Action. Come on, Cancer. Whoo, Lordy, Lordy, Shorty Sporty. Listen, okay. Cancer, like I said, if there has been anyone that has been. I feel like y'all been going through some extreme highs and y'all been going through some extreme lows. And it's been a testament and a push of the will, of the push of your faith. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's about like you really grabbing hold of what it is that you really, really want. Your will is your way. You know? And if it's something that you really want, it's going to be your way at every step and everything that you do. So there's like some extreme changes going on right here. There's been some extreme highs. There's been some extreme lows. It's been like when you are pushing forward internally in your mind and you're getting your strength together to get your determination and your will to push forward. Those are extreme highs for you because you feel powerful. You feel abundant. You feel comfortable knowing that I'm about to fuck some shit up right now, but I'm fucking it up to purify my essence in every way. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're having to walk through the fire right now. And somehow you've been sitting down and you haven't been taking action. It's like, no, now, now it's time to do it. Because something, these are a lot of like full moon energies here. Are all of these, like, these are a lot of full moons. The thunder moon, the hot moon, the snow moon. These are like three major arcanas to me. You know what I'm saying? Three major shifts and major phases that are hitting y'all all at one time and it's 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 because you need to go through these very highs and lows you see very highs once you push through this extreme because the extreme right here this 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 hot moon this is not necessarily um sometimes it can mean passion sometimes it can mean pain a lot of arguments a lot of fight a lot of discomfort it's too hot. You know what I'm saying? Like they said, if it's too hot, get your ass out the kitchen. You're like, motherfucker, I'm about to burn this kitchen down, bitch. I don't want nobody to ever be able to be, walk back in this kitchen. I want this shit. Like, this kitchen don't even need to exist anymore. Okay? Lightning and the thunder. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning and the thunder, thunder. Like, hey, young, listen to that song. Oh, oh, my God. Why do I want to play this song? Who do you think you are? Mm -mm 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 -mm. The big star. Yo, if y'all listen to that song, y'all, I'm getting so hyped. Y'all, I'm getting gassed, young. What? Oh, my God. It's like literally y'all about to cause the lightning, the thunder, the destruction. You are the cause of change. You are the cause of the extreme this time because you were trying to purify your soul and wash them sit away and come out clean as the day you were born. Innocent as the day you were born. Do you understand? White, pure. In every essence. In every freaking essence, y'all. And, and even in the other moon phases that are not complete full moons. Like, they're damn near almost to the point of, of full illumination. You know what I'm saying? So, you've been gearing up. Lightning and the thunder. Boom, boom, boom. Lightning. It's about to get ugly, my nigga. I ain't even about to lie. Like, But it's like, y'all, listen... Only thing I keep hearing is, who do you think you are? Like, whatever he's saying after that shit. But it's like, oh my God, what is he saying in that song? Y'all have to please, please, please. I want y'all, everybody right now, if you have like another phone or something like that, while I'm pulling up this next deck, just play that song for me real quick. Because it's something about the words in that first verse. That shit means a lot. Okay, let's go to the Game of Thrones. See, that's why I got these Game of Thrones cards out here. Because, listen, shit about to Listen, it's the Game of Thrones. Okay? Listen, we ground. It's our will. It's our way. Don't nobody... Ain't nobody going to determine how shit about to move around the cancer's goddamn shit. Uh-uh. No. Everything that we've been going through at this point is a test of will. A test of determination of, okay... If you're in a situation that you don't like and you don't understand and you don't feel comfortable, are you willing to tear it down? 
yourself. 13 means death. You know? Letting something go, tearing something down so that you can rebuild and start a new damn day. Action. Mm. What you talking about? Come on, Empress. Come on, Empress. We came to impress. Come on, Empress. We came to impress. Shake them titties. Shake them titties. Come on, shake them. Come on, shake them. Come on, shake them. Earthquake them. Come on, earthquake them. Come on, Miss Empress, Cancer. Cancer said, hold on. I'm Queen Mother. I'm Queen Sheba. You better believe her. I'm Queen Mother. I'm Queen Sheba. You better believe her, girl. I'm coming through like the Empress, girl. I am prim and press. I have came to impress, girl. I'm looking damn good and I'm feeling damn good, girl. You better know me. Please know me. That's what we say in D.C., girl. Know me. Know me. <laughs> Come on, girl. Yes, ma'am. What you got to say, Miss Empress? What's coming on, Miss Queen Sheba, Miss Queen Mother? Miss Queen Mother, girl, what you trying to... Oop, I, mm -mm, I just seen the devil. We, we gonna rebuke him. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Something about to go down. We're about to go down in Cancer's tail. Come on, Sheba, girl. What you got to say, girlfriend? Go ahead and let it out. Mmm, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Love to live here anymore. Just a vacancy. Love to live here anymore. <laughs> oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> Love to live here anymore. <laughs> Love don't live here, girl. Listen, there's a vacancy because you there's someone and someone and hop their ass up and then skipped off and just doing what they want to do again. And it's okay, because when you go away this time, when you come back, love don't live here no more. Okay? Little boy. Little boy. Little boy. Okay? Or whoever you is. Little girl. I mean, there's a man on this thing. That's why I said little boy. Okay? There's a man on here. But this is the page card. This is the page of wands. Yeah, this is the page of wands. The page of wands in reverse is someone that is I want to say lazy someone that isn't really um trying to pick up and go and it's it, it's like this new thing that you're you're trying to build and you're trying to create and you're trying to manifest but you ain't doing no work you ain't putting no work in it, it if anything, you done skipped on and found something else that you're more interested in. Because it's like a lack of attention. Like attention deficit syndrome or something like that. It's like this, the, page of, uh, the page of bonds in the perverse is just someone that's in shit when the shit is new. Like once that new car smell fades off, they want to go ride around with someone with the newest, latest car. Like they only your friend as long as shit popping for you but once shit kind of gets stale and shit like that they ain't really gonna be around you like that you know so this is someone that only comes around you when things are going good in your life very immature not focused you know just basically skip on to whoever is giving them something at the moment this could have been a relationship that is based merely on sex as long as you got your legs open or you try and get your your thing wet shit good other than that ain't really nothing else popping here you know what I'm saying? And in regards to this empress, she is not impressed anymore. Love don't live here no more. So when you take your ass on this motherfucker time, you better keep your ass over yonder to wherever the fuck you at. Don't be coming back over here looking for no snacks. I ain't got nothing to do. I know you like Big Mama cooking. Listen, I know you like to lay up under Big Mama bosom. But honey, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'm not your mama. Okay? I don't have time to try to keep you focused or try to teach you about love. Go on and scoot on. Float on, float on. Okay, come on. All right? There's about to be some changes, some reckoning around this shit. And it might be some extreme passion in regards to sex, but there's some extreme arguments. There's some, ex listen, there's some extreme drama going on here, too. With somebody with this in and out energy. Like, hold on, you ain't about to keep running in. You know how big mama is. Close my door. Okay? Close my door. You're not about to keep running in and out my damn house. Keep having these goddamn flies. Keep running in my shit. Okay? All right? Close big mama door. And if you're going to be outside, stay outside. Don't be keep running your ass in and out this goddamn house. Now, black ladies, am I tripping? That's been said in every goddamn black woman house. 
Don't keep running your motherfucking rabbit ass in and out this goddamn house. Okay? The fuck? Close my door, bitch. Okay? The fuck? Yes, I called you a bitch because you're acting stupid. Get your ass outside. Okay? Stay your ass outside. Shit. Coming in, coming in here smelling like the outdoors. The horror fit in the damn reverse. Okay? So this is a divorce. A separation. Someone not willing to follow the rules or like willing to abide to the structure that is constituted in this relationship because in this relationship there's a lackluster energy of affection here. You know what I'm saying? Because you all over yonder, you, you worry about some shit that happened over yesteryears. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't even stay focused on what the fuck going on here because you worry about some other shit. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be in a relationship where someone is constantly wandering. This is a wanderer. A squanderer. A flounderer. Bitch, I don't even know what a flounderer. What's a flounderer, y'all? What's a... <laughs> <laughs> He's a squ She's a squanderer. A launderer. Okay? Laundering her pussy all over town. She's a squanderer. A launderer. A flounderer. Okay? I'm just making up shit that I don't care. Bitch, that ain't the shit that you want to deal with. You said, listen, ain't no God wrapped up in none of this shit. I don't know what this hoe ass motherfucker. This motherfucker gonna come back and bring me, please. Take your hot ass outside. Okay? Take your hot ass outside. Like, don't bring that dog in this house. My fleas all in my goddamn house and shit. Y'all better listen to Big Mama. Big Mama know. Okay? She know a dirty motherfucker when she, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Coming in here smelling like all outdoors. Listen to page of uh, coins in the goddamn reverse. And motherfucker ain't got no money. Ain't no good. Every time you come around, it's bad news. Oh, uh, uh, can I get a few dollars because so-and-so and, you know, I ain't got no money to pay my rent and my mother, you know what I'm saying, she needed help with this and I ain't, that's why I can't help you right now. No, I said I was going, nigga, what? Why are you always coming up short? Pun intended. Why is you always coming up short, sir? What is you talking about? What in the fuck? What? Coming around here begging. Borrowing. What? Every time this motherfucker around, some shit end up coming up missing. I don't know why I'm taking this as like a thievery card, but like, yeah. Motherfuckers trying to scam, con, and shit. Oh, yeah, because someone said, because if you do this, like, little pyramid schemes and shit. What? So you mean to tell me that you done lost your money in some pyramid scheme because you being dumb? Why you ain't looking to that shit to realize what the fuck you was getting? So you just went and gave it? What? Hey, you want me, you coming on Big Mama house, you want Big Mama, you better get your ass up, you better lay low, Bobby, okay, you, what the fuck is you, crackhead or something, fuck is wrong with you, <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> you better lay low, you better get that shit up out of here, Big Mama said, hey, hey, absolutely not, what is this, I, she need a king of coins, okay, she need a man long standing, long stick, run the long yards, Hit the field goals. I don't know. It, 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 does that make sense? Do y'all look this sports? I don't know. Because I don't, I don't watch sports. <laughs> I don't listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. He real athletic. He got long yards. He don't need no prosthetic. Okay. Whatever little uh, uh, food out there, he gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? It's a real good man right here. Real good man. Okay? Real good man. Take his woman out. Treat it to a nice pocketbook. I guess that's what bitches like and whatever. Fuck a pocketbook. Nigga, bite me a car. <laughs> okay? I can't, sir. Come on, girl. Bite me a car. Okay? Fuck, bite me a house, bitch. Okay? Buy me a vacation spot in Belize. Okay? Can we get a spot in Belize? Please? Can we get a spot in Belize? Please? Papi Chulo, what a do though? Papi Chulo, oh, what a do though? You got the do though. Okay, on the low low. You got the dodo on the low low. Come on, Poppy. I want to go to Belize, please. To Belize. Hey, yeah, it's like, yes, mommy. I'll take you wherever you want to go. You know, understand? I like you. You're kind of nasty, you know. My name is Paco. Paco! Come on. I told you Paco got that long yard and that long motherfucking change, girl. What? Paco, come on in. Come on in. Be my friend. Let me get rid of this shit real quick, Paco. So I can, um, come on through. <laughs> Hold on, Paco. 
I just need you to chill because I'm about to shut shit down because I, I got somebody motherfucker coming around begging and borrowing and shit. I ain't got time for this shit. Paco, you just chill out real quick. Let me purify this shit. Let me listen. Listen. <laughs> Let me listen. I'm about to walk through fire to get to a good ass man. Yes, I will. And purify everything. Hold on. So you better listen. Do the, do the poom poom sage thing. Go ahead and do the, you know what I'm saying? What's that called? What is that called? Where they be sitting on the little flowers and shit and they be staging the, they be steaming up the poom poom. Girl, okay. She done smudged the poom poom out. She done got everything clean and pure as the day. Come on. Clean and pure as the day. Yes, God. Come on now. She said it's time to take action on this. Okay, because Paco ain't about to slip out of my hand. Who the hell done bumped into a Paco? Done found them a Paco online or something like that. It's just like, hold on, he's so fine. And he's so sublime. And he got so much time. This is the one that's going to give you all the time, all of his patience, all of the money, all of the honey. Going to keep you barefoot and pregnant. Okay, Miss Empress, barefoot and pregnant, girl. Yes, girl, just like you want to be, just like you are, girl. Come on now, Miss Empress. You already know you fertile like Myrtle, girl. Yes, he going to put some up in you, girl. Come on now. Let me go ahead to this Miss Lenormand Jack. Lord Jesus, tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. Mm -hmm. She said, love don't live here. There's a vacancy. Marco, listen, cause love, she said love don't live here. Oh, the fox. Oh, mm, 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 mm. There's been some sneaky, freaky, mischievous activity going around. When anytime that you see the motherfucker fox and someone sniffing around, investigating, um, lurking, so. In the night and the nine of clubs. So the nine of clubs represents someone that is very, very hardworking and like independently on their own, um, working hard to achieve the ultimate success, like a promotion, a raise, like they're trying to complete whatever level that they're at in their career or in life at this moment. You know what I'm saying? And so they can kind of, you know, go to the next stage. They want to upstage a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, there's someone most definitely that is, this says deception, using their skills to perform treachery, conniving, clever, manipulating tricks. Y'all watch out. Let me see. Mm, mm, mm. That is not good. The stars. So someone has been following their intuition. Someone has been wishing on stars for this change and things like that. But it's definitely someone sneaking around. It looks like someone is trying to do whatever they can and put the actual effort and the work in. Because uh, they're trying to bring change because they're tired of going through these extremes they want to divorce they want to just be free and clear of whoever the fuck this is it's like i don't have no time to keep trying to go back to the table and and and, and see if you're going to throw me a, a, a coin this time like you know what i'm saying i ain't got time to be keep fucking or playing around with you and in the page of spirits in the reverse that's like someone that like i don't know if their dick don't be getting hard like that no no more or you're not impressed by the sex anymore like so it's like it's not even it's not even worth my time you know understand what i'm saying and it's like you running around cheating you doing all this shit like no you know what i'm saying it's like my wish is not being granted here and they wish to move on um also like this means astrology so it's like they might have been pulled spiritually and just you know because their stars are aligning in their life you know what i'm saying to bring forth better things and it's like they're trying not to squander their time away anymore it's in the grave ashes to ashes dust to dust it's like this person is trying not to mourn over this because it's like giving them some type of sickness um I feel like it's like somebody was suffering to, through some type of depression, and it's and, and they're really just trying to end these things, um, because they want these other wishes to come through, and to come true, um, but there's someone that is still lurking, um, hmm, give me the journal, 
and some secrets. There's still somebody lurking around trying to find out some secrets to how someone got to a level of success for some reason. There is someone that is like stalking. Someone that is very, very successful. Someone that ever lives a luxurious life. Um, has something that they want. Um, I don't know if they're like very fancy. They wear fancy items or they can do certain shit that this person can't do. And it's like they're sneaking around trying to figure out like how did they get this way? Like what's this person's secrets? Like the ring. This represents commitment. This represents a proposal. So, and this is the Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds represents, again, like personal success, personal wealth, like personal gain. The Six of Hearts represents like the male energy. So this is a male energy wishing on stars. Um, this actually kind of means like, um, like praying for like a connection, like a, I want to say like a spiritual connection or something like that. Let me just clarify that just to make sure. Now I just, I just, I don't know why that fucking card just would not stick in my head. The other meanings behind the fucking um, six of hearts. The six of hearts represents a love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry, courage, faith, trust, compassion, emotional connection, past life or soul contracts, masculine energy, the male lover, a brother, a son, a bachelor, or an unmarried man. Anything generally associated with the male gender, such as a toolbox, a tie, facial hair, etc. So, again, this means, like, this person is, um, now I'm hearing that damn song, I'm wishing on a star. Um, I'm wishing on a star to follow where you are. I'm wishing on a dream. That song. I don't know. I, I am like seeing someone that just really sits to itself a lot and that looks up at the stars. Looks up at the stars. Like, I don't know, every night or whenever it's a good night to kind of just sit outside. Even like right now when it's raining, like this person might just be, if they have a like closed in porch or a patio or something like that where they could just sit. And like smoke a cigarette or a blunt or something and just like crack a window open, get the fresh breeze, listen to the rain and just think and just manifest and wish like that's what this person has been doing. That's what this person has been doing. Someone's been wishing on a star. Someone's been wishing on a star and it's like they want to end something. Whatever it is, is it that it's, they're trying to end in their life um, this change and it's like. They're having to bring the lightning and the thunder. It's like my will, my way. It's like I'm tired of going through these extremes. I just want pure life. I just want pure li living. I just want some shit to be easy. But I can't do that shit if I don't do what the fuck I need to do. And this can be man or woman. Because this can easily be someone saying that I want an empress. And whoever I am uh, dealing with right now. Or it could necessarily be your child's mother. This could be a man being the king, king of coins. Basically saying that I might not be in love with my child's mother anymore. She might be beautiful and all of that. But the page of spirits, like, I don't see things going anywhere. Like, just like, things have kind of dried out. Things have been stale. Their mind might be elsewhere. Um, there could be some cheating going on here. I don't know on whose part. Or it could very much so be on both people's part here. Um... But with the king of coins and the empress is basically like in regards to family like they're still working things together to take care of family like they still have sovereignty and things in regards to that but um in regards to them offering things to them to each other and like this relationship just isn't maturing amongst two mature people like this relationship just isn't maturing and there might be someone that is Lurking around trying to figure out, well, what happened? What is this person wishing for now? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did they end this? And it seems like this person ended it because they, on their own, want to feel successful. Want to? It's like I could do 
and achieve I don't I don't want to say it like that but this is what they're saying I could do and I can achieve better without you because there's no happiness in the situation you know what I'm saying because you got to look at it like this if you guys are not happy what type of atmosphere are you really giving to the kids like it says it's lightning and thunder and, and extremes like there's a lot of unhappiness going on that is affecting everybody so it's just like no no mm -mm. and somebody's been lurking and trying to find out why there's been some type of deception and things like you could be reading someone's post going through someone's pocketbook um have access to someone's phone reading someone's diary um listening to someone's voicemails they might not know that you have access to someone's voicemails or something um they say a shadow passcode what the fuck is that i think it's like one of them type of things where it's like someone has access to someone's like apps or, or something like that and someone else doesn't know about it and they're sneaking around trying to figure out what someone is wishing for and someone is leaving something because they want to offer it looks like they want a new ring or something like that yeah this is separation this is definitely separation. It's just like someone, like, being logical. Like, listen, this is not working out. Like, we put time into this. Like, let's not waste any more time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to have a certain standard of life that is going to amount to something. Um, and I really, I, I, I try, I'm trying not to read these in the reverse, but it's something is ending. It looks like this person has somebody in mind that they do want to offer something to, but there needs to be a certain separation in their life because they have to get rid of things that are no longer serving them so that they can uh, upstage to a certain level of quality and standard in their life. Um, looking at better prospects. That's what the Six of Spades means. I mean, that's basically the death card. Really, that's the death cards. That's someone ending something so they can have a better chance at a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? The time is up for something. Endings. Someone, like I said, looking for a different standard, a different quality of life. Um, yeah. Trying to get better structure. priestess in reverse lord jesus there's definitely some secrets that are coming out that are going to be exposed i told you someone was sneaking around trying to find out what the fuck was going on there's definitely um some secrets that are being exposed uh i don't know it's like some woman that y'all are dealing with some woman that's lying is keeping something to herself um there could have been a loss of money theft of money um, someone could be saying that they're unemployed or something like that. Um, it just broke. I think someone's lying about money. It's like someone's trying to play broke to get someone else to overgive. Um, like saying I don't have no money. Excuse me, y'all. Anyway, um, the high priestess in this four of pentacles, I'm really feeling like, I want to say like someone knows where some money went and is, and is like, wasn't telling someone but it's going to be exposed because even this means like someone letting go of a secret or you know it's like a secret coming out or something like you know like something coming out something being let go because in the upright the four pinnacles can mean someone holding back or someone holding on to something like holding on to a secret holding on to some information that they're not telling them you know 
so and as you can see it's like someone's holding tightly to her purse like it's a secret in her purse that's what I'm getting you got the temperance and then you got the five of you got the temperance and then you got the five of wands here in the reverse um temperance represents like spiritual balance um inner harmony coming in balance with yourself and trying to get some peace and still holding on to your hope and faith that things could get better um and like balancing yourself it's like really before you about to go into battle um this five of wands that i'm getting i feel like you're going to have to deal with a lot of opposition and i feel like someone is kind of just like resting and kind of getting themselves spiritually balanced so like their balance won't be broken when it, it's time to get into this fight. Because you know like the five of wands can represent. Um, it could represent like negotiations and things like that. Um, but sometimes when you go in trying to negotiate with people with all of the best intentions in your heart. Things still don't work out all of the fucking time and people still want to argue and people still want to accuse you of shit and people want to bring up stuff from the past and things want to argue about shit from yesterday and want to accuse you of things that you haven't even done because people snooping around trying to figure out shit and you know like whatever. With this temperance right here it's like listen I'm about to keep myself in check and I'm about to honor myself and I'm going to keep myself respectful regardless like if people want to act like a fucking ass and embarrass themselves that's on them but I'm gonna keep myself together because I know my faith I know what I've been trying to do I know the changes I'm trying to make and I'm not going to allow anyone to push me to disrespect myself I'm not even about to be arguing with these fools about none of this shit I don't care what no one has to say. I'm not no fucking idiot. And I'm not no punk neither. You know what I'm saying? Now if I do have to act stupid. If someone put their hands on me. Then that's cool. But it's something It's, it's something about some money. Something about to come out about some money. That someone didn't know about. Okay. It's about to be exposed. It's about to be exposed. And I feel like someone is just tired of fucking arguing and then it just looks like a masculine energy right here. It looks like they're tired of arguing and they, they're trying to negotiate to come to some type of resolution to find some peace. But first we need to find out where the fuck this money went right here. Because it's like someone could be broke. Someone could be jobless, penniless. Someone could be... Dealing with someone that's overspending, like, um, saving her money but spent all of yours. You know what I'm saying? It didn't tell you. Um, I'm, they just said, like, someone could have put something on somebody's credit cards and they didn't know it. Um, I feel like someone spent somebody else's fucking money. The high priestess in the reverse is someone that, um, considers herself... Um, I don't, I mean, so the high priestess in the upright is someone that's very quiet, someone is very secretive, that don't talk too much. In the reverse, this could be someone that talk too fucking much, that don't know how to hold water to me. Um, the high priestess in the reverse could be someone that's promiscuous, uh, might be having, oh God, I don't want to say that, but might be having sex for money because they don't have no money right now. So might just be getting down how they got to get down right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the high priestess in the reverse can be representative of a promiscuous person. Um, someone that's burned, someone that can't have children anymore, or um, a child is overdue. Like, overdue. Like, I don't know, it's like, God, I don't want to say that. It's like the body too weak to push out a baby or like, I don't know, like someone could have been in labor for like days or something. And like her body was so weak or something like that, just being in labor. Um, so I don't know, I don't, I'm not necessarily seeing that, but I'm feeling like 
Someone's been going through some hard labor for some days now. Trying to get something out of somebody. That's what I'm getting. Because it's being depicted to me as like a woman that has been straining for like four or five days. Through a pregnancy. Like been walking and been drinking. Been doing everything in like a hospital. Like trying to deliver a child but the child is like being stubborn and just doesn't want to come out and like her body is getting weak the high priestess in the reverse is someone that really doesn't have strength enough to use her powers it has a lack of education on how to use her powers do you understand what i'm saying and it's fumbling making stupid mistakes like she don't know how to use her magic she might fuck around and hurt somebody more than she'll help somebody like she need to figure out what she doing first you know what i'm saying because there's responsibility that comes with a certain amount of magic and a certain amount of power and if you want to be calling yourself a high priestess, you better know what the fuck you're doing. Because you're going to have hella consequences to pay. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, whatever this is that this person is hiding, it's definitely going to be exposed. It's definitely going to come out. And what God is telling you is to humble yourself and to keep yourself temperate. And stay, just stay humble. Listen, you see, listen, you see your, your wings? Stay humble. Do not get flustered. Do not get frustrated because everything that goes on in the dark comes out to the light. Don't be trying to argue and fuss and compete. And oh, I don't give a fuck what this person say. This person said, oh, well, I fucked your brother. I fucked this person. I did this. Yeah, I did that. And blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Who cares? I was fucking with my co-worker, and I did this. And who cares? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I took the money. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Well, who told you that? Well, whatever. But the only reason why they told you that is because I fucked them too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Because a high priestess in the reverse can be a little scantily clad, little hoe-ass bitch. I ain't even about to hold you. I ain't even about to hold you, now. I don't know what the fuck about to come out, but whoever this man is right here, and I don't know, this looks like a very androgynous person, too, so, like, I don't know if this could be a lesbian relationship or something like that, whatever it was, it was, a, a, the hyperfit in the reverse, it was not a typical, um, straight lace, uh, connection, you understand what I'm saying? Like, there were some untraditional things that were going on in this relationship, basically, I don't know if someone knew about it. If they willingly went into a relationship knowing, you know, that it wasn't going to be to, look, letting go. Letting go. Walking into the sunshine. It's like you having a balance of your shadow side and your light side. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what chaos you can make when you in the shadow, but it's like I prefer to be in the light. You know, sometimes it's, it's fun to cause a little chaos a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to go real. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little Scorpio. I already know. You know what I'm saying? But I get more favor in life when I'm doing the right things. You know what I'm saying? And not trying to cause havoc and chaos. And it's it, it, the extremes right now, it's too chaotic. It's too much fighting. It's too many lies. It's too much treachery and snooping and poking and prodding. And it's time for this shit to be over. It's time to let go. Offer forgiveness so you can move on. Because some people are just going to be exactly who the fuck they are. And like my daddy always told me, when someone show you who they are, believe them the first time. If this motherfucker came to you and they was acting like a fucking slut or a dog ass nigga or a hoe or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, a thief or if you seen this mother, Okay, that's just like this. I'm going to put it to you. I'm going to put it to you like this. Let me get one more card. Divine timing. Everything happens for a fucking reason. It's for you, better for you to see me with, my dear. Grandma, Grandma, why you got so much uh, uh, mouth? Why you got a big mouth? Better to eat you with, my dear. Sometimes these motherfuckers ain't dead. You better believe what the fuck you see. When someone show you who the fuck they are, bitch, that ain't, they ain't look like Big Mama. That big, the little, listen, that bitch don't act like Big Mama. Big Mama don't act like that. Big Mama don't carry herself like that. Big Mama don't be acting like that. Okay? I, I, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm getting like someone's a fucking thief. Like someone you couldn't, you can't lay your purse around. Like someone you can't lay your purse around. Still. 
like a con artist or something like I'm getting that because the fox is there too you know what I'm saying like the fox is very skilled and clever at you know and the high priestess is someone that be keep using their magic for wrongdoings you know what I'm saying uh, leaving people lonely leaving people broke people poor um, where they're needing to get help whatever it is especially if someone stole someone money because I'm really getting someone stole someone money and whatever it is it's going to be exposed and shit going to get hot just forget these motherfuckers and move on allow things allow allow God to take care of them God sees everything you understand do you understand? You see that triangle right there. Okay? So there's either three people involved. Or it was a third party situation. Or whatever the fuck. It was too much shit going on. You understand what I'm saying? God seen all of that shit. God seen all of that shit. See them birds up there. They've been talking. Okay? They've been talking. Remember in the beginning? I was like something about talk to you in your New York accent or something. Yeah. Yeah, you been talking about this shit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, let's get into this. Give me guidance about this extreme and how to deal with this extreme. Even though I know you said to just stay patient, stay in faith, just stay humble. Basically, let things unfold the way that they're going to unfold. Just continue to let go. And with the sun, it's like the sun and all of these cards. It's like some shit is going to be revealed. And the moon right there, that represents secrets. Again, page of swords, listen. You definitely going to find what you need to know. You definitely going to get some information. Um, the truth going to come out. Do you understand what I'm saying? It might be a little bit of the truth, but it's still going to be the truth. Okay? You might need to do a little bit deeper searching. Based, I feel like people are gonna tell you like the topper, like the top crust of the truth. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is the page. It's like, well, yeah, I cheated. But what do you mean, but? No, I didn't say nothing. Bitch, I heard you say it, but uh uh Look, I'm just telling you the motherfucking truth. Look, shit. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't about to go into details and shit. I'm just telling you what the fuck it is, motherfucker. You was looking for you want to know what the fuck it is. Listen, bitch. Okay? So I'm, like, I'm serious. I'm serious. I don't think it's like, and it's like someone is being accused of something and it's like they're just going to tell the truth in defense. The fool in the reverse. Because it's like you're not a fool anymore. You don't have more faith in the situation. You're not going to keep. It's like you don't, you didn't sat down. It's like I'm not even about to go forward. And nothing with none of you motherfuckers until y'all tell me the truth and let me know what the fuck is going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even with your sword, it's like I'm prepared to sever communication with people. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what I'm getting here is because I'm not a fool. I'm not stupid. I'm focused on letting go. And honestly, I forgive you. So I feel like someone did get severed because, because do you even see like the way he's standing there? Like he is arming himself with like the truth or something. It's like, you know what I'm saying? No, motherfucker, I'm going to tell you the truth, bitch. I already knew what the fuck he was doing, bitch. Okay? So-and-so told me, bitch. So <laughs> you think I'm stupid? You think I'm fucking stupid? No, for a matter of fact, I sat up there and I let you do this shit. And I watched you. And I watched you. Listen. And I watched you. And I fucking watched you. It was my pleasure. It was my delight to find out what the fuck you was doing. And you motherfucking right. I was snooping around. And I seen everything, bitch. So ain't no point in you sitting up there motherfucking lying to me about any motherfucking thing, bitch. That's why I've been sitting over here wishing and praying and hoping that God will find and give me a way to end this shit. And you know what God told me? Is you ain't got to do a motherfucker. This person going to fuck this shit up for themselves because everything is going to come out and be exposed. Okay? You ain't got to tell them what, they, what you know. Okay? Because this motherfucker going to fall on their own sword. And that's exactly what happened. And thank God. 
You understand? And thank God. Okay, I think that went this way. It don't even matter. Because it's like now this person is realizing time's up. I can finally offer myself to somebody else. I can finally focus and have other better options. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't have time to deal with this shit anymore. My wish finally came true. <laughs> like, my wish finally came true. Like, you, I ain't waiting on you to tell me the truth. Bitch, I'm going to tell you the truth. Look, <laughs> the chariot. Listen, I know exactly where I'm going. I just, like, I'm good. Like, I'm good. Okay? All right? So I just had to stop for a moment. Okay? Listen, the cancer is moving on. They got options. I got other things to focus my energy on. I got options. I got plenty more options than you think. I feel like this was the setup a little bit. Because guess what? If, if, if you got, if there's a will, there's a way. There's a way, there's a way to get up out of a situation. And sometimes you got to let motherfuckers to fall on their own sword. I think that this cancer, whoever it is, they knew, they knew that someone was doing something wrong. You know what I'm saying? And it was about time. It was about time. Divine time. It was like it's about time. And I really do feel like this person has been sitting. They've been suffering through these extremes and this in this turmoil. Cause I really do feel like God told them that they were going to clean this shit up for them. It's like nothing that you gotta do. Just just it's like I feel like they were being patient. Like they were waiting for the truth. <laughs> And it's like, God, just show me the truth because I know I'm not no fool. I know I'm not stupid. And I know I want to go. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to change my options. I want to I wanna do other things. And I'm really ready to get up and move and take action. But, you know, I just, I want, it's like you wanted to stand on the truth so you can have some leverage for why the fuck you getting the hell up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it didn't seem like you were just leaving, um to be a bad guy or something justice i'm trying to tell you justice justice somebody was doing somebody the fuck wrong there was some theft of money there was some hiding of information and i'm definitely getting it was a non-committal relationship or a non-traditional relationship at that It just wasn't, listen, five of wands, it just wasn't fighting for, I'm not about to be sitting up there competing with people. Like, that's how motherfuckers get AIDS and shit. Like, I don't got that, I don't got that to do, bitch. I surely don't got it to do. Let's go over here to the Game of Thrones. What say you? What say you? What's your, let's go ahead to the, to the temperance. What say you? How would you like to end this shit? The three of clubs. The three of clubs, that basically represents, like, people working together. You know what I'm saying? And, like, learning a new skill, learning a new way. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of let a masterful teacher kind of step in to help you figure out how to build something. And, and uh, like, people working together. So, I don't know if you need to get, like, some counseling or you need to get... A older person that's more skilled and more experienced than you to kind of like um, show you a better way especially when you're dealing with someone that is conniving and sneaky and just like mm -hmm. because like the four pinnacles to me is someone that shows like a lack of self work or a lack of self value I don't know if there's someone that really doesn't want to go and work hard for their money um, or so, like it's someone like this poor like it's going through some type of financial struggle but with that high priestess in the reverse it's like um, I don't know I don't know if it's a secret for why this person kind of decides to live low like that I feel like I don't know if it's a secret like I don't know if this person can't read or has a lack of education or something like that if they didn't graduate high school or maybe they barely just passed high school like they are like educationally challenged or something like that um it's like I don't know it, I'm feeling like someone has a hard time getting a good job because 
they don't have a lot of skills. However, they do have skills of sneaking around and doing whole ass shit. You understand? With their whole ass friends and shit like that. That's what that motherfucker skilled in. But it's like, I feel like in a professional world, like it's someone that needs to go back to school. You know what I'm saying? And study their trade a little bit more. You know? So, um, yeah. The Queen of Diamonds. Okay. Okay. Actually, let me get one more. The Joker. Okay. So, hello to the bad guy. Hello to the bad guy. So, basically, this is someone here with the Three of Clubs, the Seven of Hearts, and the Queen of Diamonds. It's like, this person is wanting a second chance of love and life. They want a situation that is a little bit more comfortable, something that they can adapt to a little bit better. And they actually really are kind of asking to learn new skills um, from the Queen of Diamonds here. Like this is someone that really um, has a high sense of value, high education. That's what diamonds represents, high education um technical education and spiritual you know what i'm saying this is someone that could teach you about the spiritual world and you know how to really about crystals and like all of this type of stuff like that's what the queen of diamonds is about she's just like she's highly spiritual you know what i'm saying so um this is like you getting somebody to and with the justice that could be forgiveness as well because you see like the way this is like, this is a real hot priestess. You see how she's looking at, at this motherfucker like... And remember, I was saying someone is having to go through the extreme to walk through fire to create some change and to purify themselves and to, like, be action-oriented right now in their life and to, like, serve their purpose of their will. This girl already did that. Like, she teaches other people how to... She literally teaches people how to do that. High education on every level. Technical and spiritual. She's Khaleesi. She's the mother of dragons. Okay? She's walked through fire. You understand what I'm saying? I don't even think she can be burnt. She literally is the phoenix. You understand? The fucking phoenix. So, I don't know. If you asking for a second chance for education, awareness and abundance from the phoenix... This is like someone wanting to redo something because I feel like in the past that they, they were a fool and they were a bad guy. Because, you know, like I said, in the beginning of the Game of Thrones, um, what is his name? The Hound was not the most favorite character. Like he's had his good days and he's had his bad days. He has a good reputation and at the same time. He is not the most liked character in the, in the Game of Thrones. Do you understand what I'm saying? But he went out like a soldier and he went out with honor. And that's why it's like sometimes you can't judge people from their past and what they've been through and what they've experienced and, and, and things that they're known for in the past because that does not determine a motherfucker's future. So... As above, you're looking for education, you're looking for a second chance, you're looking for a high education. It looks like you're looking for, again, a better standard, quality, so that you don't waste your time. Do you understand? A separation from the past, separation from the trash, and trying to get into your future. Because as you can see, the king of... Where you go? And then for the king of goddamn uh, pinnacles to be... Little, little fucking fingers, goddamn ass. You know, he's a conniving little sneaky ass motherfucker, period. You know what I'm saying? He always is for himself, you know? But I, is that, is that little finger? My niggas, is this little finger, y'all? Y'all tell me, is that little finger, y'all? Y'all tell me, is that little finger? Anyway, so listen, I don't know why I'm getting that as little finger, but. And you know that nigga did not have a good reputation either. I ain't like that nigga leaving. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like it's something that somebody used to do that they didn't like about that self. Maybe they were too focused on possessions. They were too focused on how things look versus 
how things feel and what's real and being a real father, being a real creator, being a real protector, being a, a good man. Um, in the past, this was someone that was focused on how things look versus how things feel. You know what I'm saying? And with this five of wands, this is someone that is realizing things don't feel real. Things don't feel the way I want it to feel. And when I come home, I work hard. I play hard. And when I get home, I want to be comfortable. The empress, like they want an empress. They like a, a serious empress. Someone that they're highly attracted to. You know? Someone that's beautiful. Someone that loves a beautiful environment. You know? Someone that's always blossoming. Always, you know, upstaging the rest without even doing anything. Like, don't even have to put no makeup on. Don't have to put on no fancy clothes. Like, she could walk around in a house, a house dress and still be sexy as shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's that king of pentacles wanting to come home and have a hot meal and lay up in some warm pussy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I feel like this is someone that um, realized that love don't live here anymore. They're tired of going through some levels of frustration and extremes. And um, it seems like this is someone that's ready to let go and have a better quality of life. Um, if there's a will, there's a way. Two more spreads and let's get the fuck one out of here because y'all already know. Um, make me read all these damn decks Lord Jesus what's last words of encouragement for my cancers in regards to love Look, simply love again like I told y'all y'all going through some type of education y'all are getting some type of teaching from like I feel like from the world if y'all don't have an actual father figure for the um, male cancers or even because this is this is like someone father teaching a little boy about love. Uh, with that being in the reverse, I don't know if there's some female cancers that were dealing with some men that they didn't have a real father figure in their life to teach them how to love and to teach them the quality of love and responsibilities and how to keep up with their obligations as a man and you know how important a relationship is, how you have to show your heart and show harmony and respect to your woman with that falling in the reverse like that I feel like this is certain men that didn't have that I don't feel like they've known how to simply love but it's like someone that's going through um, trials and tribulations like they're having to walk through the fire now to understand what it is to simply love because I really don't feel like no one is teaching them and has taught them and I feel like they're developing their own personal relationship with God right now because God is teaching this person how to simply love okay that's enough in that deck all right listen well deserved reward is at the bottom all right you can take that as a confirmation once you learn how to simply love and be a gentleman be honorable and be respectful and go that flame going out one more time you get the well deserved reward. Okay, what's your last word of advice and love for my cancers? Man, 2020. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Cupid. Love and desire. Okay. Okay. I told y'all this person wants to propose to somebody. I feel like this Parkinson's is always in fucking love with someone. And in 222, partnerships and balance. Pay attention to the new people entering your life and take time to balance your time and energy with existing ones. You got to make peace with relationships that you currently have and allow new ones to blossom. It looks like Cupid's arrow is aiming in your direction. Um, you got to you gotta be like this phoenix right now and walk through this fucking fire. Fire is purifying. I know you don't see right now. That is 
purifying. But listen, <laughs> you sweating out all the impurities. Trust me. All that impure shit. This all this is how we're feeling for all this impure shit. This dumb ass shit. Don't nobody got time to be in, in no infectious disease office. I'm dead ass serious. Like y'all got to be careful with this shit. If, if, if you're not having protected sex with someone, and this person is in and out and you know that they're fucking other people, you think that you're the only person that they have having unprotected sex with? Like I said, this clock tower means someone being aware of the structure and the stability of what they really want in life and really trying to manufacture a certain standard and quality, having integrity. Like, this is someone like, this is a card of someone doing like analysts. You know what I'm saying? Before time is wasted. To last card, hidden knowledge, pearl. You guys are gaining access to a hidden realm, some hidden knowledge some spiritual intuition that you guys have been trained to be ready for. That's why you guys is starting in this lightning and this thunder. Y'all are going through these extremes. You understand? Because you're bringing extreme change. You're getting all the fuck shit out your life. You are coming out of that shit pure and naked as the day you were born. And honey, you, <laughs> where did that car go? About to experience some shit that you ain't never experienced in your life. You said that you want commitment. You ready for that? Okay. That's cool. You said, I don't want nobody that's going to lie to me. No one is going to steal from me anymore. I have a better sense of value than that. I really want a true empress. Where did, she, where did shit go? Where did it go, honey? Where that goddamn Khaleesi car go? I can't even damn find it. Listen. That one is worth going through the lightning and thunder about. You understand? Trust me. Anyway, I gotta go, y'all. I gotta go. Ooh! At the table, there will be a gathering. Mm. Come on now. Come the fuck on. Everything will be gathered together in divine timing. Trust me. I got to go. Y'all already know. I already know I went over on y'all reading. Y'all always be making me go over on y'all reading because y'all is greedy. Greedy. Anyway, I got to go. I love y'all. Y'all click this like button if this video resonated with y'all. Y'all watch y'all money. Watch these fucking people out here. These conniving, sneaky, treacherous ass, little dirty, crusty, butt ass, hoe ass motherfuckers. Watch these motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? Watch them, cause I, I don't know. I don't trust. I don't trust fucks. I don't. I don't trust them. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all click the like button if y'all want to book with me. Y'all hit me on Instagram. I see you later. Peace.